This beautiful country of Turkey only seems to be covered by the foreign press when there's some sort of disaster or political unrest. But millions of people actually come here on a holiday every year. So what is actually going on here in Turkey? Turkey has become a place of refuge for many people escaping their own countries, including Iran, Iraq, Syria, Afghanistan, and especially from Russia, where people are frightened of being conscripted into the army, so they come to Turkey to live. All this demand for housing, of course, has affected the property market, and the rental prices have gone through the roof, many times more than they were a year ago. And property prices have been increased too. Long gone of the days when you could buy an apartment here for 30 grand. Unfortunately, greedy landlords are kicking out Turkish people who have been renting for years because they can get premium rental from foreigners who are coming in. And this has made it really difficult for Turkish people on very low wages. And the prices are so high that many expats who lived here for years are actually returning to the UK because they can't afford the rental on their retirement pension. So I've come to this estate agent which is called Asya and uh, this is Selma and she's going to tell us what's happened in the last few years. How much of the price has gone up, especially for the rentals because the rental prices are ridiculously high now aren't they? Exactly, uh, because after the pandemic, uh, many people all over Turkey came, especially from the big cities. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because they wanted to be healthy and yeah, comfortable. It's, because and it's a nice place to live in this area. Of course, it's a touristic area. Yeah, with very many opportunities. Yeah, yeah. Uh, with sun all the all year round. Yeah, we have most the of the year. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, on a frontal area, like in the central Fethiye or Chalish, what would be the, uh, an average monthly rental? Starting from 10,000 Turkish Liras. Really? Uh, going up to 30,000 Turkish Liras. If I was to ask you, say, two years ago, when you first came to work here in this office in the Asya estate agency, what would have been the price then of an apartment, a small apartment? I bought an apartment then, uh, and it was uh, five hundred uh, thousand. thousand Turkish liras, which would be today about. So in two thousand and twenty-one, two years ago, the exchange rate was ten lira to a pound, and that made five hundred thousand lira around fifty thousand pounds sterling. Uh, so it's now over uh, around four million Turkish liras. Oh wow! And now. In 2023, the exchange rate is around 25 lira to the pound, which makes 4 million Turkish lira around 161,000 pound. That's more than three times the price. The government here, headed by President Erdogan, has just won another five-year term in office. So we will have to wait and see whether he makes any changes to his policies that may curb inflation, which is currently one of the highest in the world. If you've been to Turkey before on a holiday and you come this year, you may be shocked by the price increases. The unusual strategy of the government to lower the lending rate at the banks to curb inflation initially resulted in a jump in the exchange rate, making things cheap for foreigners. But unfortunately, the exchange rate hasn't kept pace with inflation. We've had so many comments on our channel about prices and recently we went to Alachata, the resort near Cheshme, and we realized that you need to read the prices on the menus before you order. 26 quid? for two coffees and two cakes. And prices vary considerably in all the resorts, so you need to shop around. And we found that cocktails and spirits are particularly high in all the resorts, and supermarket meat prices have risen considerably. So of course, red meat dishes in the restaurants are much higher than they were a couple of years ago. 
So we decided to go round this region, the Fetier region, and see what the prices were like round here and see whether or not they have changed much. And because the exchange rate hasn't kept pace with inflation, obviously it's become more expensive for foreigners who come on a holiday. So let's have a quick look at some of the restaurant and bar prices here. Don't do a minute, can you? Give me lira tanis here, topo. There you go, look. Beautiful ice cream, 20 lira for one top. That's a scoop. 45 lira for a wrap, chips and Pepsi, and you get one free, so you get two for the price of one. That's not even two quid. This is fresh oranges squeezed. Let's see how much they are. So he's gonna show me the size of the glass as well. Okay, so that's that's 40 lira. Why? 40 lira, 40 milliliter. Oi gun ya, to oi gun. So this is Aladdin's, one of our favorite Lacanters here in Fetier. So look at that. So you get a little bowl of soup, some salad and bread, and it's only 50 lira, two pound. So I'm actually on the Cordon now, which is the promenade. And obviously here, they're a little bit more expensive, up more, more up market places, restaurants especially. So let's have a look at the prices of the restaurants here. A Waldorf salad, 150 lira. That's about six quid, isn't it? Lamb chops, 360. Lamb tandoori, 470. Now they've got a real good selection of, of pasta dishes here. Pinna arrabbiata, 130. Spaghetti bolognese, 160. Cheeseburger, 180 lira. Hamburger, 160. Linguine with shrimp, 230 lira. What's that? Nine pound? I'm all fluffed up because I've just come out of the hairdressers. I've had a hair wash, a cut and highlights for 750 lira, which is 30 pounds from today's exchange rate. Not bad, eh? <laughs> this is chicken shish wrap made from chicken shish and it's two pounds 60, 65 lira in today's uh, exchange rate. Bon appetit, I fear tolsome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is a new bar this year, the Crimson Bar, which is next to Nil Bar. They do live entertainment nearly every night. There's always a band or something on. And they're doing beer for 60 lira and a glass of wine for 70. Their cocktails start from 180 lira, but he assures me that everything is freshly made, fresh juices, and uh, they do a crimson kick cocktail, which yeah. apparently is a little bit spicy. So we'll yeah. have to try that one. So we're outside the Summer Breeze, which is another popular place on Chalice Front, and they do an English breakfast for 140 lira, which is about five pound fifty. Well, that's good. Yeah. He's got a lunchtime menu and an evening menu. So this is a new restaurant on Chalice Beach. This is the Hatay Officer, where they do food from sort of South East Turkey. These guys are offering a set menu of a chicken casserole, burger rice salad, soft drinks for 225 lira, which is about nine pounds. A baiti kebab for about 10 pound. And prices start from eight to 10 pound. It's not bad. So what used to be the bamboo bar is now called Pommes. It's basically a bar that serves anything with chips. Great selection. They do do beer here for 60 lira, but they have told us that you can actually bring your own drinks down and enjoy with your chips. It's more like um, fish finger, isn't it? Yeah, that's how I would describe it. Yeah, like fish fingers, but really nice. So, and they do special sauces here, all homemade. And now I know what the holes in the table are for. I love the little van they've got here and they play sort of modern music but they'll play whatever music you want if you ask them. This is the Eros Hotel and these are the prices outside. They, you can have a kebab, basic kebab here for 230 lira which is about again nine pound. Lunchtime specials at Bella Mama's which is also a popular place. You can get cake and a mug of coffee for 99 lira. They're also giving you lasagna for 199 lira. 
We Ch paid 26 quid for cake and coffee in Cheshire. <laughs> That's very true. But lasagna is 200 lira, so what's that in pounds? Eight pound. There you go. Oh, and you get a free cat. <laughs> so this is the anti bar, and this is Byram. He's been here the longest, I think. He's been about 30 years. Yeah. So what's the price of your FS now, big FS? 75. 75 Turkish 70, lira. Yeah. And what about a glass of wine, house wine? 100 lira. 100 lira, that's about four quid. What about cocktails? Cocktails? Cocktails. Start from? 50 start. Start from about six pound. So that's not bad, is it? And in the evening, I love his comfy seats and his choice of music. This is a lovely setting of the Brothers Restaurant on Chalish Beach. And you can get a steak here, pepper steak, for 435 lira, which is about 17 pounds today. And how much is the chicken dish? The chicken dish, they range, you can get a chicken Kiev for 330 which is lira, which is about 12 pounds. This is the Happy Corner Coffee. This is the other end of Chalish next to the Brothers Restaurant. And it's a lovely place to come and have a coffee. They also do desserts, which range from 100 lira. You can get a tiramisu or a brownie for 100 lira, which is about four pounds. How much is the coffee? And the coffees are 45 for an Americano. Two quid? About two pounds, yeah. So this is the Nil Bar Nil Hotel, which is a really popular place with the Brits. And the beer price here is 50 lira. And the wine, which is Kavak, a very popular wine here, house wine, 70 lira, a glass. As a touristic destination, the season here is just starting up. In the west and south coastal regions, which are incidentally over 500 miles from the earthquake zone, there is already millions of bookings to come on a holiday. And with all that is happening here with the economy, they have just launched their very own first home produced car, the TOG which is a luxury electric vehicle rolling off the production line at around £40,000, that's $50,000. Ironically, the T10 model, which goes from 0 to 60 in 7.6 seconds and has a range of 500 kilometers, has pre-sold over 100,000 cars in the first week. Hopefully, this will give a boost to the Turkish economy and certainly increases the pride of the country. So that's it from Fetier. Take a look at our travel films if you haven't already. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss where we go next. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.